Hi, this is Shelly from Frugal Family Home and today I have a kitchen tip for you. I am sharing how to minimize the waste on your asparagus spheres and maximize the taste. Yes, there is a technique where you can save most of the asparagus and have very little waste left. And I'm also sharing what you can do with those little bits that you trim off um, at the end so you don't even have to waste that. So let's get started and I'll show you how to trim asparagus. Okay, when you're purchasing asparagus, you might wonder, well, do I pick thick or thin asparagus? And that doesn't really matter. I mean, the thinner asparagus is easier to saute, the thicker works better for roasting. So you could try to pick it out that way. But the more important thing is that it is fresh. And how do you tell it's fresh? Well, you wanna look at the head and the flower should be nice and tight like this. Shouldn't be separating, it should be nice and tight just like that. And then you wanna look at the cut end and make sure it doesn't look shriveled. It should just look like it's just been cut, shouldn't be shriveled. And as long as the flower head is good and the end isn't shriveled, it should be pretty fresh. When you're ready to trim your asparagus, first thing you wanna do is wash it and just rinse it really well and pick out any of the asparagus spheres that look like they're a little old, maybe shriveled at the end or the flowers are opening or extending. And then the next thing we want to do is you want to line up your asparagus spheres just like this. We're going to cut off about one inch off of the bottom here. So we're just going to go one inch up and we're just going to cut them and just like that. That takes off the woody ends. Once we have the ends taken off about an inch off, just like that, take our asparagus spear and we're just gonna take off this lower portion of green to remove any other stringiness that will, may remain. And so what you wanna do is just take a peeler and just peel that off around. It doesn't take very long. And just until you reveal that inner white area. All the green is taken off and it's just the tender inside that remains. And that's all you need to do. And by preparing your asparagus this way, you save so much of the end that is edible that you can use and you have nice long asparagus spears to use in your recipes and they look really great. And you don't have to worry about the woody ends or the stringy ends anymore. Okay, you have the ends from the asparagus and these leftover asparagus shreds, but you don't want to throw these away. No, you can put them in the freezer and with other vegetable scraps and use them to make a vegetable broth or um, even asparagus soup. So don't throw them away. You can keep them in the freezer for making soup or broth. That's it. That's how simple it is to trim asparagus. And if you'd like to see the written tips, look for the link in the description. If you don't subscribe to our channel yet, I would love to have you subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful and be sure to click the bell if you want to know when we have new videos out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.